Oh my God, my phone is acting really crazy. It's not liking me right now at all. So good morning. Um, I haven't made one of these videos in a really long time. Since I last made a video, uh, I ran completely out of energy and I've moved house. I've set up my house. I've had my best friend here. And I've done what I'm going to be talking to you about today. And all the while, my husband was still going to work and my children were still going to school and they had all of the activities that you have in the winter time in the Middle East, right? So everything, basically. <laughs> everything happens in the winter because the weather's good. Anyway, that's just a little tidbit. If you ever want to move to the Middle East, expect amazing winters. Um, and if you want me to make a video about what it's like to live in the Middle East, I'll be more than willing because I've lived in the flats of, uh, of Kuwait, very flat desert, and I've lived in two of the Emirates in the UAE, and I'm quite willing to talk about it because I have a lot of love for this region and I've got a lot of experience. And uh, I was a very curious uh, resident of this part of the world, so I know a lot of stuff. So if you want to know anything, comment and let me know and I'll make a video about it. I'll make a little series about what it's like to live in the Middle East as an expat. Um, as a Christian expat, because it's very different. Um, so, what I have to talk to you about today is uh, what I've been doing for the last week, which is goal setting. So I moved house and... Um, I uh, finished a giant job that I've been working on for the last two months, begrudgingly. I didn't really enjoy it, I have to say. Moving house is a very boring task. It's a lot of organizing, a lot of setting up, a lot of boxing, and a lot of moving, a lot of grunt work. So I've been doing a lot of physical work, and um, which has not left me a lot of time and energy to be able to do my uh, this work. So it's been holding on like this to make sure I've been able to do it. So now I'm in a place where I can start to enjoy my beautiful flowers and, um, and start setting some new goals and that's what I want to talk to you about right now. I've talked about goal setting before but I just want to recap on it and see whether or not I can add to it or take away from it or maybe there's a little bit more of an essential part of it that I missed out last time or that I can take away from last time. So when you're setting a, a, a big goal for yourself, I'm somebody who has always been surrounded by an amazing support group that hold me like this and it's only of about four people three of which are the ones who really bust my butt into uh, into making new goals, right? The other one just gives me lots of love and makes me feel alive. So with those four people, I can do everything I need to do. And then with other people helping along the way. But what I need to do is, somebody, I am somebody who needs to set my own goals and I need to be able to know where I'm working towards. Because if I'm not working towards something, I flounder and I'm not very happy when I do that. So if you're experiencing a feeling of floundering at the moment, of like, I don't know what I want to do with my life and I don't know what, it, how all the things I'm doing right now add to my bigger picture, then this is for you. I don't enjoy that feeling at all, by the way. No. So, when you're most setting goals for yourself, the first place you start is this. You start in your heart and you dream as big as you possibly can. So what would you truly love? What would you love to be doing? Where would you love to be going? Where would you like to be? How would you like to be there? Would you like to be in a house? In a, would you like to be traveling? Would you like to be um, location free? Would you like to be in an apartment? Would you like to be in a city? Would you like to be in the, in the, in the countryside? Are you sick of the, the smog so you want to move to the country? Are you sick of the quiet? You want to move to the city? Would you like somewhere in between? You know, like seriously big. And you just scrap everything you have right now. And you don't think about where you are right now. You really think about where you would like to be and where you'd love to be. So you, you start from love, okay? You start from this place, love. And then you start to think about the activities that you want to have in there. So for me, I've got young children, so a good school for my children is already always, always going to be a part of that. But then what kind of school? What defines a good school? There are so many good schools. So... I really want it to be a certain way because of their, their cultural mixes and their cultural backgrounds and um, the languages I want them to speak and the type of education I want them to have. You know, schools are a thing that I've always been involved in, so I know a lot about schools. So the school aspect is a big deal to me. What do I want from my career? So do I want to... Um, so I've got WhatsApp groups going crazy in the background. Do I want to start a business? Am I happy with my career? Do I want to start to learn something new? Am I going to start doing another study? No, I've done enough studies. <laughs> do I want to do my PhD? Do I want to start doing research? Um, do I want to start doing research and turn that into a PhD? Let's say it the right way around. 
do I uh, want to do more charity work? Do I want to do more um, volunteering? Do I want a hobby? Or is it that I actually want something with a lot of meat to it and I want to make a difference in this world by creating something myself? Or am I happy just to give my time and then walk away? Do I want to be consumed by something? Um, these are questions you need to ask yourself. Do I need to just scrap all of that and work on my basic security? Do I need to make sure I have an income? Am I healthy enough? Am I um, safe enough? Do I have enough love in my life? You know, start from the basics of what you really need to have as your basics. I mean, it's great to, to dream big, but it could be that you just are missing some of the basic stuff and your life would be great. So for me, it would be really nice to have an extra income and that would make me feel a lot happier in my in my basics of my life. I'm pretty healthy as it is and I'm about to make a video about that as well. Um, and then you start really dreaming big and don't be practical, just dream big. This is a thought, it's not something you're actually doing yet. Dream big and then start filling in the details of it of like, well, where would it be? It would be in, it, this is what it would look like in your mind. You know, you're all, it's all in your mind at first and like, and if you need to get a piece of paper and write it all down or draw a picture of it or take some collages and stick pieces of paper down and just really dream big, as big as you possibly can and then start going, this is where I'm going to start from and then backward chain it to now and this is all from the dream builder, right? So you backward chain it to this moment and you plant that in your moment now and you start making sure all of your actions are working towards that goal or working from that goal, from that vision. So for instance, if you're, if you're um, part of your vision is that you want to work to school every day or work, walk to work um, because you want to be healthy and you want to enjoy being outside. So those two birds with one stone. And you're somebody who basically can't stand walking. Well, get yourself in love with walking by walking every day in one way, shape or form. And just making sure that everything you do is in alignment with, with where you are in your mind, in that, in that dream place, in that goal. And uh, that's what I've been working on for the last week and it's taken me a week and I've really figured out what my big, big dream is. And I'm not gonna talk about it because the one thing you shouldn't do is start putting your soul and your dream all over the floor for other people to step on and, and, and say, well, that's not, that's not very practical, is it? Or to give their 10 cents worth, as they say. You know, just two pennies worth. Don't do that. This is not public property. This is your dream. This is your essence. This is, this is your heart and your soul. And you want to keep that for you. And you don't want anybody else to tell you you can't do this because then you start thinking and you know all the negative stuff and you've got enough negative stuff in your head as it is. You don't need other people putting more negative stuff in your head. Believe in yourself and believe in your capability to know what's in your own heart. Yes, I've had a lot of people help me kick me up the bum, but what they were saying is I love you for you and whatever you decide is something that I'm gonna stand behind. And I'm not going to judge you for what you choose, but choose something. Choose something that means the world to you. And don't make it public property. This is not, it's too serious. It's too important. It's like taking a diamond and putting it in the middle of a, of a train station and letting everybody touch it, you know? Or letting everybody hold it and it gets dropped on the floor 15,000 times. Don't give people your diamond. Of course, make sure that you have a core group of people who support you, but make sure they're people who ask you questions, not tell you the answers. So they are constantly saying, what do you want? What means the most to you? How do you feel about that? Is that big enough? Those are the people you need to have around you, and those people you could maybe tell your, your diamond to, but don't give it away. Don't give it away to everybody. This and this is too important. It's, it's, this is the work we have to do on this planet. This is how we are truly created. This is how we take ownership of our humanity and how we can change the world. Because everybody is full of fear. Everybody is full of their shadow side and everybody is trying to make it through and survive and trying to find balance between the light and the dark, between their dreams and between their fears. You've got enough to deal with, with your shadow side and your fears. Don't start letting other people's fears and shadow sides influence your dreams and your diamond and your life. Keep your heart and your soul 
here where it belongs inside of you don't give it away so that's where I would give you as a big advice today so your goal is is your creative humanity it is your work it's it's your dream is your work as a human you have to dream as big as you possibly can and make it as big as you possibly can and cherish it and work on it every single day make sure every step you take every action you you make is going towards that dream or coming from that dream you want to work from that place within yourself and don't give it away don't let people drop your diamond much love